Alright, welcome back. It's time to take a look at the uh, Leopard A1A1. Now, the Leopard 1 was a fantastic vehicle. I really enjoyed it. And I believe that the upgraded Leopard is also going to perform really well. Now, the main thing that's upgraded on this vehicle is the main gun. It feels like it does penetrate a bit more. It also has a very interesting ammo. It has APFSDS. It also has heat. And I think it has heat FS. So overall, you have a very nice selection of ammunition for this vehicle. Now, the armor on the Leopard A1A1 is also a little bit improved, but the overall armor on any Leopard is non existent, basically. And so this is a tank that relies on mobility and speed and cover. It is a fantastic sniper. The gun mantlet has also been improved on this thing, but the turret cheeks a bit to the left and right on the main gun are still uh, very easily uh, penetrated. So overall, the turret is good, and if you have to expose any part of the vehicle, then I would say expose only the turret, since the turret, at least the, the gun mantlet can uh, bounce some shells. But let's see how this tank will perform in combat. So the Leopard A1A1 does play the same way as the Leopard 1. It has about the same speed, although uh, that extra armor might make this, this vehicle a bit slower, but Overall, the performance and speed and maneuverability is generally speaking about the same. Maybe a bit better, maybe a bit worse, depending on uh, what you prefer from the Leopard. The main gun, if given the chance, if, well, I say if given the chance, if you position yourself correctly, then the Leopard is just going to uh, be a very, very rewarding vehicle. And the rear side armor, as I already mentioned, well, it is non existent. And you should definitely try to avoid taking any hits from anything while driving this vehicle. So, I'm going to my favorite position here. Now this tank can slide really well, although the sliding part is definitely a little bit slower than the Leopard 1, that's because of the extra armor on top of it, but that extra armor didn't really do much <laughs> since uh, it has no armor by default. I mean, the armor is not really going to help you a lot in high tier anyway, so if I have to pick between armor and no armor, I would probably pick no armor and more maneuverability since speed is going to carry you much further than, than armor. And well, speed and main gun, maybe the turret armor can be good because you know the turret, you have positions where you can take advantage of the turrets and basically just peek and shoot. Now, recently they changed some of the mechanics, they also um, uh, made it so that you cannot shoot through the wagons anymore, so that's. Uh, uh, good or bad change, I don't know. I like the fact that you were able to shoot through the cover, but I guess we can't have that anymore. So, this position is still really solid. Now, I use AP, APFSDS on this thing usually. Uh, for the hex polish shell, maybe heat is good, but uh, heat FS is also pretty solid. I mean, it depends what you prefer. I personally prefer to use APFSDS as my primary. Uh, primary ammunition, but if you like heat FS, then also that's going to be a that's also going to be a pretty solid choice. Both have the advantages and disadvantages, uh, but I am quite comfortable with uh, a BFS DS. Um, I'm using it. I also love how that tank survived two direct hits, and yeah, they're still moving. And I did destroy the tank in the end, but I also got hit. So, yeah, that M60 should have been destroyed in the first hit, but it wasn't, because reasons, I guess. And now I have to repair. Now, the artillery, as you can see, you have decent protection from art artillery. A direct hit will kill you, of course, but if you are well hidden, you can just easily move out of harm's way when someone decides to throw artillery on you. And this position is really, really good for the Leopard because you can keep the main hull of the tank hidden below the rubble here. Only the third turret is most exposed. The only place where you can get shot from is, well, from zone A, although I, lo I love how I, I love how my own teammates cannot block me there. Could have killed that Leopard a lot sooner, but nothing Oh, well, a bomb. 
Now its reverse speed is pretty solid as well, although it feels like the reverse speed on the Leopard 1 is a bit faster, but and the Leopard tanks in general have very good reverse gears, they are very fast in reverse. So you can shoot and quickly go back to cover, shoot and go back to cover, which honestly is a very nice tactic and very valid tactic as well. Although it still feels like the maybe Leopard 1 is more friendly for a active play since this thing does feel a bit a bit sluggish, a bit slower and that is, I'm, I'm comparing them on the same level by the way since I'm still working on maxing out this platoon but on the same level the Leopard 1 seems to be moving much faster the main gun isn't as good as this one that's oh they're actually very similar but I've, i there's definitely some differences between the main gun on on both of the vehicles here but in the end as long as we can penetrate the target the tank and main gun isn't really important high tier or, or low tier really doesn't matter uh, for most part as long as you have a gun that can penetrate the enemy armor, tier doesn't really matter. Just you need to place the shell in the correct. Oh, and is that aircraft going after me? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, they definitely are. Yep, that's a very angry. It's a very angry bomber. Yeah, that's 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 coming for me. Let's just move out of the way here. Yeah, I, I can hear the bombs. I can hear the whistle. Nope, not today. I love how every single bomber in existence is always dropping bombs on me when I'm playing any any tank basically. Always all the time bombs are falling on my head but my teammates are always safe. Alright well back in position here. Back in position and let's keep on trying to get a win here. Now this tank is definitely much more pleasant to drive than the weasel, that's for sure, I mean, the, the weasel, oh my god, that, that, that thing was just a pain. I, I love the hull of the weasel, I love the, the way, you know, it could work, but unfortunately the weasel is just horrible, because of, I mean, just look at the other vehicles in the, in the platoon and, you, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And an example, can you shoot through? You can't. Yeah, you can't shoot through this. You have to destroy the wagon. Maybe I should use high explosives to just break this, but yeah. AP is not going to go through anymore. If this was recorded a couple days ago, that mouse would have been killed. But yeah, you can't shoot through that, unfortunately. And there is the mouse. Let me see if I can put a shell in, in the weak spots. Well, I mean, I guess he didn't pan it. Yeah, he didn't. Of course he didn't. Now it did penetrate. Yeah, it did. Or it didn't. Did I bounce the mouse two times? Well, I bounced the mouse two times. Lovely. Or maybe I didn't. I didn't really pay much attention to the mini camera there. In any case... Well, actually, we might even win the match. Okay. Somehow we managed to capture the base. Well, maybe if someone peeks on a corner, I might be able to shoot them, but... Oh, that's... Uh-oh, that was actually pretty close. Okay, so... They see me, but I cannot see them. Alright. Let's... Let's move around, I guess. Wait a second, is that bomber coming after me again? That's the second, that will be the second damn time that something is coming after me actually. And I got the kill with the, with the leopard, nice. Leopard versus bomber, bomber killed. And I got killed too. Well, okay. But we are going to win the match anyway, so yeah. 
So the Leopard A1 A1. Uh, it, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, it, it has. I mean, let's just play a couple more games uh, before I come to a conclusion about the tank. But overall, I mean, I, I like the Leopard A1 A1. I really do like it. It's it's just very little difference from Leopard One to the Leopard A1 A1. There there are differences, but. If you have the Leopard 1 and if you go with the Leopard A1 A1, it will feel like you're playing the same tank, honestly. The improved turret armor definitely is, I guess, something. I mean, if you can position yourself in such a way that you can only have the turret be exposed, then I guess that's going to be a, a improvement. But for the most part, it's going to be about the same. Now you're going to see me misfiring a couple times here because of... I, I don't know, actually, my, my finger just slips to the button there. T-54. I destroyed the... The gun breach. Second hit, penetrated frontal armor. And somehow that T-54 is still alive, although I did penetrate the frontal armor. And second hit, third hit actually, destroyed it. No. The Leopard A1A1 and the Leopard 1 excel at sniping. Uh, these things are fantastic at long range. If you can have some cover, like the rocks here that I have, you can snipe. And as you can see, it's, it's just going to work really well. After all, these things are fantastic sniping. They have a very nice and accurate main gun. I mean, accuracy is definitely not a problem, although. I say that, uh, don't forget that the snail, the snail decides everything in the end. The snail decides if you hit, the snail decides if you miss, the snail decides if you bounce 12 mm, 12, a 12 mm armor plate with a thousand mm penetration because it happens. It happens to me way too often. So in the end, the snail decides everything. The numbers don't mean much, uh, after all. And here I bounced the first shell, because the shell fell right and at the gun mantlet, and at that distance it is a bit more difficult to penetrate. Of course, if they hit the commander's hatch, well, might be game over, but the, the top of the turret of this tank is very small, very hard to hit, so in most cases here I should be pretty good, and that was a very good kill. I shot on reflex and I managed to to hit targets. I also got hit. Seems that it bounced. Didn't do much at least. So the turret definitely. If you have to expose anything, expose the turret. As we can see, bouncing with the turret works really, really well. And we also. I think uh, I'm... I don't know if I already recorded the Raketenyak Pants. I think I did. Yeah, that's one of the next videos that I'm actually uploading right now. T-54, T-62 actually. It did hit and didn't do much. Okay, fair enough. The T-62 can be a dangerous tank. It is a low-profile vehicle. It is much smaller than the Leopard and much more difficult to hit as you can see. So... I have to be careful around that tank. It's also a very good sniper as well. It doesn't have as much speed and maneuverability as the Leopard, but it has a very scary main gun. And it loads very quickly as well, so... You have to be careful around T-62s. And I've been asked, which tank do I prefer? The T-62 or the, or the Leopard A1A1? Honestly, um... I don't know. Uh, I, I like both tanks. I, I can make both tanks work. I would say that T-62 might be easier to drive because it has a bit more armor, sloped armor, and it's also a very small vehicle, it has very nice ammo, fantastic penetration. The Leopard has a better gun, I would say, but the Leopard has all the disadvantages. It's huge, it's a box, it has no armor. It is fast, but it doesn't forgive mistakes. One mistake and this th th tank just blows up. So if you're st if you're just starting and if you're looking for a nice little start for uh, high tier tanks, then I, w I would say T55A platoon definitely the, the easier 
uh, the easier starts. Of course, you can also go with the leopard if you like, but if you are new to the platoon, if you're new to the tier in general, then the T55 is definitely the the easier and more comfortable start. And you also do get the IT1 with the T55, which is honestly uh, the best medium tank in high tier at once because it has fantastic penetration, it has amazing stealth and overall uh, it is a very low profile vehicle, it is fast, it has armor it has a uh, ATGM that's not that's not really stable when you launch it, it's kind of wobbly but it is not that bad, it's still usable at long distances and based on all the advantages you have the wobbly APGM is just a minor, a minor problem uh, because that tank is the the best medium tank in uh, in high tier at all. Nothing beats the IT one when it comes to when it comes to performance. So it it has everything. It has damage output. It has penetration. It has speed. It has mobility. It has armor. It has it has everything. It it basically ticks all the boxes. So yeah, the T fifty five. Platoon is definitely the much easier, much easier start and more comfortable and in the end I would say more enjoyable. A very good tank to farm silver with, a very good tank to get good scores with and yeah, uh, the Leopard is good in its own way, the Raketenjak Panzer is also pretty good but the IT1 seems to be performing a bit, uh, a bit better because of all the technical advantages that it has over these vehicles. Now I just had to check real quick if there's if there's some uh, bombs behind me. I always have a have an eye on on aircraft. You never know when someone decides to bomb you, and it happens way too often when I'm playing the game. Bombs are always falling on top of my tank before they drop on top of my teammates which is kind of funny when you think about it but it looks like we're going to win this match quite easily although I didn't get the first the, the first spot but I'll take it I am not going to complain about that I'm still getting I'm still getting used to my new device. I mean the frame rate on the new device is is insane. Uh, it's this thing is as fast as my PC, maybe faster actually in some cases. But but the oh look bombs! What did I tell you three seconds ago? I'm getting bombed more than anyone else in the whole team, and this just confirms it. But we won the match, and that was actually a pretty solid game. I was able to snipe from start to finish, and I love sniping with the Leopard. After all, this is a sniper tank designed for sniping, and I'm just taking advantage of the sniping aspect of it. Okay, well, let's go to the next match. I mean, we already we are already doing really well with the Leopard. Let's just keep on playing. I uh, guess. No, there are some maps that are just going to work really well with this tank. The the ice map, this one. Uh, Japan also works really well. Uh, American desert map is really good uh, if you manage to get in certain positions, of course. But the the other maps are pretty solid with the leopard. You can get to the position very quickly on both sides, actually. The other. The other side also has a very good position, but this position is just much, much, much better. And that's the first kill. Nice. Slapped. Really, really nice. And there's two more tanks coming in. Let's shoot the other T-54. Okay. Nice. And there's one more that needs to be destroyed. The reload is not that bad. And yeah, that, that one knocked the hell out of this tank. The reload is not bad, the reload is pretty solid I would say, although I feel like the reload is going to be easily beaten by some outloaders. I mean, for example, the best reloading tank uh, in the game at the moment is the 
STRV the streets wagon that thing re re reloads so fast it's ridiculous it has an outloader and I would say technologically speaking the STRV the streets wagon is probably the most advanced tank that we have at the moment and probably my favorite vehicle one of my favorite vehicles uh, I really love driving the STRV because of how quickly it can shoot and uh, the tactical positioning is very important uh, with that tank you really want to position yourself in, in such a way that you cover the whole line and with the STRV you can really maximize that if you if you can just hide somewhere very far away you are going to basically delete anything that moves in front of you <laughs> that's just how the STRV works and honestly I've, I've had a blast with that tank it's a monster and that's a T10A very good hit at the uh, lower plate should have blown up the tank but it didn't the second shell wall usually the ammo is stored a bit to the left or to the right from the center I just shoot at the center because sometimes it just kills the crew but you know sometimes it doesn't it's basically 50 50 always and that's uh, why I'm personally trying to aim for the ammunition on most of the vehicles because if a good hit at the ammo should just blow up the tank although sometimes sometimes quite often actually uh, it doesn't because reasons and when I say that I'm not joking I, I, I can't count how many times I hit the ammo directly with all sorts of shells all sorts of calibers and it does absolutely nothing in, in some cases actually quite recently uh, I hit someone's ammo I think it was a mouse with the leopard and actually it wasn't the mouse my apologies uh, it was one of the one of the American tanks that have ammo I think it was a M103 I hit the front part where the ammo is stored basically a bit to the left or to the right of the, of the driver the shell went in the damn ammo it did nothing to the ammo but it sure as hell did blow up the, the engine somehow so the shell goes in it somehow bypasses a whole stack of ammunition stored but it sure as hell knocks out the engine that's on the back of the tank so yeah that's hilarious when you think about it because the ammo is literally the first thing on impact and the ammo should have been just destroyed from the shrapnel spalling and stuff but it wasn't so yeah uh, in the end luck is the thing that's decide deciding if you kill a tank or not to kill a tank or well you have a kv2 or something and just slap high explosive at, at everything that's yeah a kv2 kind of doesn't have that problem because it just wrecks it just breaks the tank doesn't have to penetrate it just breaks the tank breaks the hole <laughs> so yeah another high caliber shells do the same thing basically well this match is still far from over uh, I'm not I'm not first place which is fine I, I wasn't really doing that that well in, in this round here although I kind of wish that I was driving the, the states wagon a bit more I'm very curious to see what's the next oh look a mouse as well and look I penetrated the armor but it didn't kill it that's lovely let me try a second time there we go ammunition exploded I love how it took two two hits in the same damn spot to detonate the ammo I love it well back to cover now this this tank is when it comes to penetration it's really good but that's undeniable one of, the, one of the best performing shells and one of the best guns I think the only main gun that might be better than this is the STRV because it's an autoloader and that I mean you should definitely give a chance to the STRV because that thing is just insane it is it has it has a learning curve to it that's for sure it's difficult to drive because it doesn't really drive the same way as other tanks do you can't use the joystick to move left and right with the STRV you have to move the camera in order to make the tank move left to right which is at the moment only uh, unique to the STRV or the streets wagon I mean it's still one of the most advanced 
uh, vehicles that we have in the game and we will see. I mean, I, I don't know when the next tier of tanks will be released, probably very soon actually. I have no idea when, but we already kind of have some rumors running around. That's going to be fun. I mean, that's that's definitely going to be fun to, to check out. And I think we are going to win the match. It was a pretty solid match after all. No complaints for me, honestly. Uh, did have fun, did have some good kills, and overall, the the leopard gameplay. It's, it's. I mean, this tank is fun. If you already have the leopard one, and if you're looking for a little different experience, well, I, I guess if you want a upgrade leopard, then the A1 A1 is definitely going to uh, deliver the well, the expectations, I'd say. But Overall, uh, I really do like the tank, performs really well, and definitely looking forward to play it a lot more in the future. So with that means I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that means I stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.